Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking projects that are making waves in the open source community. From AI-powered voice conversion and video generation to infrastructure management and AI agents for web automation, we've got a lineup of tools that are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We'll explore what makes each of these projects unique, how they work, and why they're worth checking out. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, AI hedge fund team, a proof of concept for AI powered trading decisions. Imagine a hedge fund, but instead of human analysts, it's powered by a team of AI agents inspired by legendary investors. This project, available on GitHub, explores the use of AI to make trading decisions, and it's designed for educational purposes only. What makes this project unique is its team of specialized AI agents, each embodying the strategies of famous investors. You've got the Ben Graham agent, hunting for undervalued stocks, the Bill Ackman agent, ready to take bold positions and push for change, and the Kathy Wood agent, focused on innovation and disruption. You'll also find agents inspired by Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, seeking quality businesses at fair prices. But it doesn't stop there. The system also includes a valuation agent to calculate intrinsic value, a sentiment agent to gauge market feelings, a fundamentals agent to analyze key data, and a technicals agent to read market trends. A risk manager keeps an eye on potential dangers, and finally, a portfolio manager makes the ultimate trading decisions. The project simulates trading decisions but doesn't actually trade. You can specify which stocks to analyze and even set a time period for the simulation. A back tester is included, so you can evaluate the AI's performance over different periods. To get started, you'll need to clone the repository from GitHub, install the dependencies using Poetry, and set up your API keys. Remember, while financial data for AAPL, GOOGL, MSFT, NVDA, and Tesla is free, you'll need an API key for other stocks. The project is licensed under the MIT license. Project number two, Spark TTS, an efficient LLM-based text-to-speech model. Spark TTS is an innovative text-to-speech, TTS, system that leverages the power of large language models, LLMs, to achieve highly accurate and natural-sounding voice synthesis. What sets Spark TTS apart is its simplicity and efficiency. Unlike traditional TTS systems that rely on separate models for acoustic feature generation, Spark TTS directly reconstructs audio from the code predicted by the LLM, specifically Quen 2.5. This streamlined approach eliminates the need for additional generation models, significantly improving efficiency and reducing complexity. Another key feature is its high-quality voice cloning capability. Spark TTS supports zero-shot voice cloning, meaning it can replicate a speaker's voice without requiring specific training data for that particular voice. This is particularly useful for cross-lingual and code-switching scenarios, enabling seamless transitions between languages and voices without separate training. The system supports both Chinese and English, making it versatile for diverse applications. Furthermore, Spark TTS offers controllable speech generation, allowing users to create virtual speakers by adjusting parameters such as gender, pitch, and speaking rate. This level of control provides flexibility in generating a wide range of voices and speech styles. To use Spark TTS, you can clone the repository from GitHub and install the necessary dependencies. Model download is straightforward, with options to download via Python or Git. Basic usage involves running a demo script or executing commands in the command line. A web UI is also available for voice cloning and creation, with options to upload reference audio or record directly. Keep in mind that Spark TTS is intended for academic research, educational purposes, and legitimate applications. It should not be used for unauthorized voice cloning, impersonation, or any illegal activities. The developers advocate for responsible AI development and encourage ethical use of the model. Project number three, Spacetime DB, multiplayer at the speed of light. Spacetime DB merges the functionalities of a database and a server into one streamlined system. This unique approach allows developers to upload application logic directly into the database using modules, which are essentially advanced stored procedures. Instead of relying on intermediary web or game servers, clients connect directly to the database and execute application logic internally. This enables developers to consolidate their entire application using REST into a single deployable binary. What truly sets SpacetimeDB apart is its focus on speed and low latency. It achieves this by keeping all application states in memory and using a write-ahead log, WAL, 
for data persistence and recovery. This optimization makes SpaceTime DB ideal for real-time applications like games, collaboration tools, and chat services, rather than tasks requiring batch processing. The entire backend of Bitcraft Online, an MMORPG, operates solely on a SpaceTime DB module, handling everything from chat messages to player locations. SpaceTime DB supports multiple languages, including Rust, C Sharp, and TypeScript. To get started, you install the SpaceTime DB CLI tool, start a standalone node, write and upload a module, and connect to the database using client libraries. Installation is simple, with options available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, including package managers like Cargo and Homebrew as well as Docker. SpaceTimeDB is licensed under the BSL 1.1, which converts to AGPL version 3.0 with a linking exception after a few years. This ensures community contributions while allowing users to link with SpaceTimeDB without being forced to open source their own code. Project number 4, PasteMax, the ultimate code navigator for LLM users. PasteMax is a file viewer application designed to simplify how developers interact with code repositories when using large language models. LLMs. What distinguishes PasteMax is its focus on streamlining the process of navigating, searching, and copying code snippets for use in platforms like ChatGPT. Imagine needing to extract specific pieces of code from a repository to feed into an LLM. PasteMax provides an intuitive, expandable file tree, making it easy to browse directories and locate the necessary files. Its search capabilities allow you to quickly find files by name or content. You can then select multiple files and copy their combined contents. A standout feature of PasteMax is its token counting functionality. By displaying the approximate token count for each file, PasteMax helps you manage the context window of your LLM, ensuring that you don't exceed its limits. Additionally, PasteMax automatically detects and excludes binary files, as well as common files like packagelock.json, which keeps your focus on relevant code. The file exclusion rules are also customizable, allowing you to tailor the tool to your specific needs. For user comfort, PasteMax includes a dark mode. To start using PasteMax, you can download the latest version from the releases page or build it from the source code. Built using Electron, React, and TypeScript, PasteMax offers a modern and responsive interface. Troubleshooting tips and a platform for reporting issues are available on the GitHub repository. PasteMax is released under the MIT license. Project number 5, Browser Use, Empowering AI Agents to Interact with the Web. We're diving into a groundbreaking project called Browser Use, a tool designed to bridge the gap between AI agents and web accessibility. In simple terms, Browser Use lets you connect your AI agents directly to a web browser, enabling them to interact with websites in ways never before possible. What makes Browser Use unique is its ability to automate almost any task you can imagine. Forget about tedious manual processes. With browser use, you can tell your computer what to do, and it gets it done. Imagine automating tasks like adding grocery items to a cart and checking out, or even more complex workflows like finding ML jobs and applying for them. The project stands out with features aimed at enhancing AI's browsing capabilities. This includes improving how AI agents remember information, plan actions, and understand the state of web page elements. The goal is to make AI agents more efficient and capable of handling a wide range of tasks on the web. Browser use is also designed with flexibility and customization in mind. You can easily integrate it with your existing Python projects using pip install browser use. The project also supports various AI providers by simply adding your API keys. You can test the tool with a user interface or run a simple Gradio demo. This tool isn't just about automation. It's about reimagining how we interact with the internet. By making websites accessible to AI agents, browser use opens up new possibilities for software design, potentially giving companies a competitive edge in the age of AI agents. Whether you're a developer, researcher, or just someone curious about the future of AI, browser use offers a glimpse into a world where AI can seamlessly navigate and interact with the web. Project number six, Union, the trust minimized, zero knowledge bridging protocol. We're exploring Union, a project focused on building a trust minimized, zero knowledge bridging protocol designed for censorship resistance, high security, and decentralized finance applications. What makes Union unique is its foundation in consensus verification, eliminating dependencies on trusted third parties oracles, multi-signatures, or MPC. This approach enhances security and reduces vulnerabilities associated with traditional bridging methods. Union stands out by aiming to align the priorities of the protocol with its users through decentralized governance, which will control contract upgrades, connections, 
token configurations, and protocol evolution. Union's architecture supports general message passing, asset transfers, NFTs, and DeFi. It implements IBC for compatibility with Cosmos chains and connects to EVM chains like Ethereum, Barricane, and Arbitrum. The project uses a variety of languages in different components, such as Go, Rust, and Solidity. It also provides a TypeScript SDK for interacting with Union. For developers, Union offers a reproducible build environment using Nix, ensuring that any component can be built from source. The project also provides a development shell with all the necessary dependencies. To get started, developers can refer to the official documentation and component-specific documentation found in each readme.md. With its focus on zero-knowledge technology and decentralized governance, Union aims to provide a secure and efficient infrastructure layer for various blockchain applications. This makes it a standout project in the decentralized finance space, offering a glimpse into a future where cross-chain interactions are both trust-minimized and highly secure. Project number 7, ZLS, Enhancing ZIG Development with Language Server Protocol We're highlighting ZLS, a project that significantly enhances the development experience for ZIG programmers. ZLS is a non-official implementation of the Language Server Protocol, LSP. For ZIG, written in ZIG itself, this tool provides developers with essential IDE features directly within their code editors. What sets ZLS apart is its comprehensive support for a wide array of language features, including simple type function support, using namespace, payload capture type resolution, custom packages, and C import. While still a work in progress, ZLS aims to incorporate comp time and semantic analysis. The project supports a range of LSP features such as completions, hover information, go to definition slash declaration, document symbols, find references, and rename symbol. It also includes formatting using ZIG FMT, semantic token highlighting, inlay hints, code actions, selection ranges, and folding regions. ZLS allows ZIG developers to work more efficiently by providing features like autocomplete and go to definition. The project is open source, and it welcomes contributions from the community. ZLS is designed to integrate seamlessly with various editors, providing a consistent development experience. To get started with ZLS, you'll need a build of ZIG Master, and you can find detailed installation instructions in the installation guide. The project also acknowledges and thanks its contributors, donators, backers, and sponsors, encouraging others to participate through contributions or donations. With its focus on providing robust language support and a seamless development experience, ZLS is an invaluable tool for ZIG developers looking to enhance their productivity and code quality. Project number 8, Terraform, safely manage and version your infrastructure. We're exploring Terraform, a project that allows you to safely and predictably create, change, and improve your infrastructure. It's a source available tool that turns APIs into declarative configuration files, making it easy to share, edit, review, and version them with your team. What makes Terraform unique is its approach to infrastructure as code. It lets you describe your infrastructure using a high-level configuration syntax, so you can version and treat your data center blueprint like any other code. This means infrastructure can be easily shared and reused. Terraform also stands out with its ability to create execution plans. Before applying any changes, Terraform generates a plan that shows exactly what it will do, helping you avoid surprises when manipulating infrastructure. Another key feature is Terraform's resource graph, which builds a graph of all your resources and parallelizes the creation and modification of non-dependent resources. This makes infrastructure builds efficient and gives operators insight into dependencies. Terraform also provides change automation. Complex change sets can be applied to your infrastructure with minimal human interaction reducing the risk of human errors. Terraform Core includes the command line interface and the main graph engine. Providers are implemented as plugins, and Terraform can automatically download providers published on the Terraform registry. With its focus on safety, predictability, and automation, Terraform is an invaluable tool for anyone looking to manage their infrastructure efficiently and effectively. Project number 9, Vidai. Generate AI videos with ease. We're showcasing Vidai, a command line tool that lets you generate videos using AI, leveraging the power of Runway ML's Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 3 Turbo models. What makes Vidai unique is that it provides extra features on top of Runway ML, all accessible through a simple CLI. Vidai allows you to generate videos directly from the command line using either a text or image prompt. It stands out by supporting Runway ML's Extend feature 
which lets you create longer videos. You can even create videos longer than 10 seconds by reusing the last frame of the video as input for the next generation. Additional handy tools include the ability to generate video loops. For those who prefer not to deal with the command line, the DAI also offers a no-code solution through the Runway Automation Actor, which provides a simple web interface and automatic video generation. To get started with Vidai, you'll need a Runway ML account and your token from the request authorization header. You will also need to install FFmpeg to create extended videos. You can install Vidai using the Golong binary or download it from the releases. The project provides multiple ways to launch commands, including using a configuration file, environment variables, or command line arguments. With its focus on ease of use and additional features for video generation, Vidai is a standout tool for anyone looking to create AI-generated videos quickly and efficiently. It's important to note that automating Runway ML accounts may violate their terms of service. Vidai was created as a proof of concept and for educational purposes. Project number 10, SeedVC, zero-shot voice conversion with real-time support. This tool stands out because it offers zero-shot voice and singing voice conversion capabilities, meaning it can clone voices using just a short reference speech of about 1 to 30 seconds without needing any training. What makes it even more remarkable is its real-time voice conversion feature, with an algorithm delay of approximately 300 milliseconds and a device-side delay of around 100 milliseconds. This makes it suitable for applications like online meetings, gaming, and live streaming. Unlike many voice conversion tools, SeedVC supports fine-tuning on custom data with very little data required, as little as one utterance per speaker. The fine-tuning process is also fast, taking only a couple of minutes on a T4 GPU. SeedVC provides different models for various purposes. A tiny version optimized for real-time voice conversion. A version suitable for offline voice conversion. A singing voice conversion model with strong zero-shot performance. The tool also offers a user-friendly interface through web UIs for voice and singing voice conversion. For real-time applications, a dedicated GUI is available allowing users to adjust parameters to optimize performance based on their hardware. While the project is still under development, with ongoing efforts to improve audio quality and add new features, SeedVC's unique combination of zero-shot conversion, real-time capabilities, and fine-tuning options make it a noteworthy tool for voice conversion. That wraps up our look at this week's top trending open source projects. We hope you found these tools as exciting as we do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in open source. Let us know in the comments which project you're most excited to try and what other projects you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.